Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we are doing a Primark makeup tutorial. Now I've never tried Primark makeup before but I've heard really good things about it. So down here I have a Primark bag full of Primark makeup to test out and do my face with today so I think we should get straight into it. I really hope you do enjoy it and if you are new here then hello my name is Zoe. This is my YouTube channel and you can subscribe if you want to. So when I went into Primark I did want to get enough to do a whole full face but because I live by quite a small Primark. They didn't have everything that I wanted in stock or they just didn't have the shade that I wanted. I think I spent about £34 and I got... Now I'm looking in the bag, it doesn't actually seem like I bought that much, but I think I've got quite a good amount. One thing that I did notice when I went in is that a lot of their products are like dupes for more high-end products and they look really, really similar, especially KKW Beauty, which I have got a few of the dupes for. This is also another one. This is the Primer Water, which was only £2. And I'm guessing this is a dupe for the Smashbox Primer Water. It says it preps the skin for makeup application, hydrates and refreshes. It's silicone-free, alcohol-free and oil free so I'm going to use this first to prep my skin and I'll probably end up using it at the end as a setting spray as well. Oh it smells amazing. So that was the primer water, I'm just going to let that dry while I open the second product. I wish I opened these before. So that primer water actually felt really nice and refreshing, I'll definitely use it again for £2, I mean you can't go wrong really. I don't wear primers that often, so I can't say whether it's a good primer or not, but it did refresh my skin, so yeah, I like that one. The next product which I got was a highlighting cream because I've been using the strobing cream from MAC, so I thought this might be a little dupe for that. It's a strobing highlighting cream. I'm pretty sure this came in different shades, and I'm also pretty sure this is either the lightest one or the one in the middle, it's the shade Pearl. And because I have more dry skin, I personally like to apply a highlighting cream all over my skin. And that's what I was doing with the MAC strobe cream. So I'm gonna do the same with this today. I feel like you really don't need a lot of it. It's a lot runnier than the MAC strobe cream. That is what I've got left on the back of my hand. And I didn't pick up any of the makeup brushes from Primark because I was already so overwhelmed with trying to pick out what foundation and makeup which I wanted. This I really like, it's a very similar shade to the strobe cream which I use, I use the shade Gold Life. I think it's a little bit more glittery than that though. So that does feel pretty nice and that was also two pounds so I mean you can't really complain with that. So moving on to foundation, there was a few different types of foundation and the one that I wanted to try, they didn't have in my shade. To be honest, they only had this one foundation left in my shade and there wasn't many of them left either. So this is the My Perfect Colour Matte Foundation, medium to full coverage, matte finish and oil free. I chose the shade Nude because the only light shades they had left were nude and vanilla and vanilla was too light so I'm hoping that this kind of matches me. I did tan last night just in case it was a little bit too dark because it does look quite yellow so I'm hoping we get away with it. I don't really mind either a matte or dewy foundation. This one says it's matte so we will see how matte it looks. But I've never tried a £3 foundation before so we will see how this applies. The illuminator which I've applied underneath has created a nice like sticky base for this to stick to. So this says it's medium to full coverage so this is one layer and it's not actually a bad match for my skin tone. So this was like two pumps. I feel like you're going to need a lot of this to really build it up so we will see how much we actually need. It is very matte as well so I'm glad that I used that illuminator underneath because it is showing through nicely. Okay so second layer going in. I've used three pumps this time. Okay so I've built that up to a really nice full coverage and I'm actually really surprised at how nice that is. Because I have got more of a dry skin, I am glad that I used that illuminator underneath. I think it's just stopped it feeling so matte on my skin and you can see a bit of glow still showing through which is really really nice. Really really I'm surprised with a £3 foundation being that good. It definitely does what it says. 
the shade that I used as well, which is Nude, does have more of like a yellowy undertone to it, which I really struggle with finding in drugstore foundations. A lot of them are very pink, whereas this one is nice and yellow, which is what I look out for. Feels really nice and comfortable on the skin as well. I'm actually really surprised. One product which I couldn't find was a concealer. I don't know whether they do a liquid concealer, I could only find like a stick one which I don't like so I'm only going to apply just a small amount of my own concealer just under my eyes. Now we're moving on to a KKW Beauty dupe which is this I found. This is a highlight and contour kit and it looks very very similar to the KKW Beauty contour kit. I haven't physically tried them so I can't sort of hold them up together to show you how similar they, similar they are. But just looking from pictures this looks literally exactly the same. I don't think this comes in different shades because it doesn't have a shade written on it and they were all just in one pile together so let's see what we get inside. So we first get the little applicator which is the brush and the little sponge applicator thing and then else do we get we also get a brow highlight which looks like an almost white shimmery pencil we get a contour stick duo so we'll see what sort of shades they are so that is one side and that is literally the smallest product which i've ever seen so that shade is super super dark i don't think that i can use that one and that's the other side which again is very small let's see what that one looks like the first one is very gray toned the other one is a lot richer but um, i don't i don't know i'm unsure about that unsure i'm very unsure so what we've we got here we have the cream highlighter duo let's see what these look like so i'm not sure whether you can see that one was the brow highlights. This one is maybe a little bit more creamier. Now, what is this? Again, super tiny product, but it's sort of like a mustard mixed with salmon. I've actually never seen a color of concealer or anything look like that. I'm gonna save the brow highlight and we're gonna use that when we do the eyes later. So that one can just hold tight for a second. So let's try and do something with the contour stick thingy. I've got one of these from Rimmel, which I use all the time and there's so much more in them. Let me just show you. Okay, so this one is the Rimmel one, which I use all the time. This has a highlight stick and a contour stick and look at the difference. The Rimmel one, you literally get like three or four times as much. There's literally nothing in that product. And then I'm going to try and use the applicator to buff it out. And it literally just looks like a grey stripe on my face. Like, what is that? Let's put the other one over the top and see how we get on with it because let's just face it, this is already going to be a disaster. So. I think if there's going to be two shades, I want one which I can bronze with and one which I can contour with. Whereas, oh, I just don't feel like I can do anything with these. I'm going to have to do the other side now anyway because I've already done that side. Like, what? I'm so annoyed that I spent £8 on this. Oh, it looks absolutely terrible. <sighs> Okay, I'm not using that anymore. Let's put it away. I'm gonna just have to put a bit of my Rimmel one on. I'm still gonna use the same um, brush to buff it out, but I can't sit and talk to you like this because I look absolutely ridiculous. The brush I don't think is bad at all. It blends the product nicely and it's a nice size to sort of fit in your makeup bag. Okay, so let's give the highlight stick a try. I am not going to use that side because I don't even know what you would use that for. I really hate the shade of that concealer if it's even supposed to be a concealer. And I'm guessing with this it's going to give more of like a subtle glow which I do usually find with highlighting sticks like this. It's obviously not going to be like in your face highlight. I feel like I could use that twice and it would have literally just run out. Mm. I can't really see it. Can you see it? No idea. Oh, it was going so well. 
This was the one product which I was more excited to try as well. I loved that illuminator, I loved the foundation, and then this has just left us down. Well, it's safe to say that I am never, ever gonna use that ever again. So let's just move on and forget about that. This is the Pure Blush Matte and Shimmer Blush Palette, which I also picked up. This was five pounds. And I think the shades in here look really nice. The pans are massive. I think I'm going to use that more pinky one, which is matte, and I'll use the highlighter after as well. And just for curiosity, I'm going to apply a little bit of the purpley one over the top. But the matte ones are super pigmented, so are the shimmery ones. The shimmery ones look super intense, so I'm really excited to use that highlighter later. But I should apologize, I couldn't really find one that I did like. The chocolate one, which I think is like a dupe for the Too Faced chocolate one, I didn't really like the shades in there. I did want to try the Heat palette, I think it was called, which I'm guessing is like the Urban Decay Naked Heat. But they just didn't have that one in stock. They only had the tester left. So instead of using an eyeshadow palette, I thought I would use the blush palette. And then I also randomly found these like pigments. These are the Gold Rush eyeshadow pigments. And there's just three different types of gold. So I thought I would just use these two together. So I'm going to use in the pink out of the blush palette. I'm just going to use this all over my lid and into the crease a little bit. And then I'll use the pigment over the top. I think that that is one area which I thought was lacking a little bit was the choice for eyeshadows. I didn't really think that there was much choice to be honest. So these are the different pigments. There's a really nice copper one, a like champagne gold and then a more yellowy gold but I'm just going to stick to the middle shade which is the more champagne gold one. I'm just using a tiny bit of the NYX glitter glue. I'm just patting that all over the lid. I thought that these may be a little bit too glittery but they're not glittery at all. They're absolutely beautiful. I do really really like them. I'll definitely use those again in a tutorial. Okay so the next thing that I'm going to try is the Stay All Day Gel Liner. This was £2 but it was actually on offer for £1. Those pigments as well were £4 for three of them I think as well. So let's have a look at this because I do like a gel liner. I do like my wings. Again you get a really small amount of product. This is 2.5 grams but then I suppose if you're only paying one or two pounds that's what you're gonna get. The applicator is not that precise but the actual product itself is not that bad. You do have to work quite quick with this because it does dry really quick. Yeah, the brush is just not precise one bit. So I've just applied lashes and mascara because mascara I forgot to buy and lashes they didn't have a massive selection in my Primark so I couldn't really find any like nice dramatic ones. The eyeliner I have just had to clean up a little bit with the foundation. I do really like it, it just dries very very quickly so if you are more of a novice with gel liner this one may not be for you, you do have to work very quickly with it and the brush as well I'm not too much of a fan of but I mean for £1 I'm not going to complain. So for highlighter now I'm going to go back in with the blush palette, I'm going to use this shade right here which is called Flushed and this looks really really nice so I'm excited to try this. Yeah, I definitely think it's more of a in-your-face highlighter if you wet your brush. And that does look really, really pretty. I am definitely going to get a lot of use out of that blush palette, I think. Okay, so last but not least, we are moving on to lips. And I picked up a couple of lip kits, which were from that nudes collection and I got two. So in here you get a matte liquid lipstick and a lip liner. I got two shades which is Fling and then Thrill Seeker. Thrill Seeker is, looks like a more darker brown and then this one looks like more of a Marvy nude. So I'm going to try them both on because I'm not sure which one I'm going to like best. I'm going to try this one first which is called Fling. Okay so this one is like a pinky nude. That is the liner and then that is the liquid lipstick. So let's see what these look like. And that is very very pale. 
The lip liner, I think, is true to the colour of the packaging, but this one came out a lot lighter. Let's try this one now. This looks like it's supposed to be a bit darker. This is called Thrill Seeker. These lip kits are also £3, by the way. Okay, so this does look like a nicer colour. That one is the lip liner and then the liquid lipstick. It does look like a really nice sort of dark nudish brown. Already, the pigments of this lip pencil is way better than the first this one and the colour as well is much better. Okay so I do I do really like that colour of liquid lipstick. I will definitely be wearing this again but I just wouldn't pair it with the lip liner because I don't think that the colours complement each other at all. The lip liner to this is more of like a pinky undertone nude whereas this comes out like quite a rich orangey brown which I wouldn't put together. I also bought a lip gloss because I don't really have that many lip glosses and they're not really something that I would spend a lot of money on. So this one was only £2 and it looks like a really nice nude. Oh my god it smells so nice as well. So this is what it looks like with a matte lip and let's put this gloss over the top. feels nice as well on the lips. Do you prefer it with a matte lip or with glossy lip? Let me know. And then I'm also just going to quickly spritz my skin again with the primer water. So let's just recap on the products which are really nice and the ones that weren't maybe so much. So the first one was the primer water which I did really really like. I can't say that this is a makeup primer but it was really nice and refreshing and I will definitely carry on using this. The strobing cream again for the price is amazing. I did really really like it and I will definitely carry on using this together with my MAC strobing cream. The foundation actually really did shock me for three pounds. It's an absolutely amazing foundation. It was definitely a medium to full coverage though I did have to use quite a bit but I don't really mind that. I really liked the shade of this one as well which was nude and yeah I'm definitely going to carry on using this as well. The nudes contour and highlight kit I am definitely not going to be using again. The shade range just shocked me to be honest in the amount of products that you get. It was the most expensive product and the most disappointing so I'll definitely not ever be using that again and I would not recommend buying it. The blush palette I think is really really pretty. Like I said earlier I'll definitely use all the shades but maybe not this one as much but you never know. The three eyeshadow pigments I absolutely loved. This was the one that I've used on my eyes and the other two look just as stunning. I thought they would maybe be a little bit glittery but they're not at all. They sort of apply like a foiled eyeshadow having more of a metallic finish. They're really really pretty so I'm going to use these in a different tutorial I think. Maybe like a prom look or something would look really nice with that. The gel liner I did really like. It's just very quickly drying. I found it easier to apply it with my other brush, not the brush that it comes with. But I will definitely carry on using it. It was fine. It did exactly what it says. Moving on to the lip kits. The first one which was fling I thought was more of like a Marvin nude. I was excited to try that one. I didn't end up liking it. It came out way too light whereas this one which does look like a more darker nude thrill seeker was definitely more true to colour looking at the packaging. I'll definitely carry on wearing that one again. That one was just a little bit too light. I thought the formula of the darker one as well was much better and much pigmented than this one. And then I think finally is the lip gloss which I absolutely loved. I'm definitely going to pick up more shades of these. It's super super comfortable on the lips and it's really nice and pigmented as well and it went really nice over the top of the matte liquid lipstick. The shade that I've used is Toffee Dip and yeah I really really liked that one. But with this Primark makeup tutorial I found some amazing products which have worked really well and are super affordable. We've definitely had some makeup disasters as well so that is all the fun and games of trying new products. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did down in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more like this as well. And don't forget to subscribe too. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.